Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the full adder constructed from the two half adders. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Full adder using the two half adders. We are going to construct the full adder by using two half adders. First we will see the details about the full adder, then we will go to the construction detail. So the full adder is a combinational circuit that performs the arithmetic sum of three input bits. It consists of three input and two outputs. So the full adder, so while adding we have two digits are available. Let us consider A and B. But while adding this A and B, the carry is generated. So we can take this carry also one of the input because this carry should be added with the next digit. So the input is two inputs A and B as well as the carry in because carry is generated while adding two digit that should be added with the next digit. So there are three inputs A, B, C in. So practically while adding two binary numbers definitely we need a full adder with three, three inputs. This half adder will add only two digits A and B not considering C in. That, that is that practically it is not possible. Practically while adding two input we need to consider carry also. So that full adder is as implemented practically with three inputs A and B and C in. While adding this A, B and carry in, again we, the carry is generated, this is called carry out and sum. So there are two outputs, sum and carry out, right. So the full adder, we have three inputs A, B and carry in, then two outputs, carry out and sum, right. So they will now we will discuss about this truth table, the tabler column truth table for the full adder. So there are three inputs A, B, C. So there are eight combinations are available. Two to the power three, there are eight combinations are available. First, we will see these two inputs A, B. Two inputs mean four combinations: 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For this 0, 0, the carry may be 0 or 1. For 0, 1, the carry may be 0 or 1. For 1, 0, the carry may be 0 or 1. For 1, 1, the carry may be 0 or 1. So totally there are eight combinations. Now we will see this 0, 0, 0. All are 0 means sum also 0, carry also 0. 0, 0, 1. Only 1, 1 is available mean automatically sum is 1, carry is 0. Similarly here 0, 1, 0. Sum is 1, carry is 0. 0, 1, 1. If two 1's are available, if while adding two 1's what will happen? The sum is 0, carry is generated. This carry should be added with the next digit, right? So 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, sum is 0, carry is 1, right. So the only 1, 1 is available means sum is 1, carry is 0, 2 1s are available means sum is 0, carry is 1, right. Here 1, 0, 0 is there, so that sum is 1, carry is 0. Here 1, 0, 1, 2 1s are available, so that carry 1, sum is 0. Here also 2 1s are available, 1, 1, 0, carry 1, sum is 0. So 1, 1, 1, all 3 are 1 means what will happen? 1 plus 1, you see here 1 plus 1 means the sum is 0, carry is 1. For that again we need to add 1, right? So we need to add the 1. So 0 plus 1, 1, carry is also 1. So sum is also 1, carry is also 1. If the 3 digits are available, all 3 inputs are 1. So you will see again 1 plus 1 is sum is 0, carry is 1. Again one more one is added. So 0 plus 1, 1, the carry is also 1. So sum equal to 1 and carry also 1, right. So there are three possibilities, right. All 0 means sum is also 0, carry is also 0. Only 1, 1 is available means sum is 1, carry is 0, very simple. Two 1s are available means carry sum is 0, carry is generated. That should be added with the next digit. All three are 1s mean Sum also 1, carry also 1, right. Uh, see this block diagram, this full adder is available, two inputs. Our aim is to add these two inputs, A and B. But the carry is available, that also need to be considered. So carry also one of the input, carry in, right. So the carry in A and B, the three inputs are available. So in that we got two outputs, the sum is generated and carry out, this should be added with the next digit. So we have carry out and sum. Now we need to get the simplified expression for this carry as well as sum. In order to implement the logic circuit, we need a simplified expression by using the Carnap map, K map. 
see here there are four ones available one two three four four ones available for sum similarly for carry one two three four four ones are available right so these these things are marked in the k map the zeros and ones are marked in the k map by grouping the cell we can get the simplified expression right both for sum as well as carry now we'll go to the simplified expression for sum and carry so this is the k map available for carry this one carry this one for sum right so what is the input a b c n there are three inputs are there so this is a three variable k map so a is taken vertically 0 1 a is the one variable two combination 0 1 b into c n two variable having four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right so i already discussed that the carry we have four ones are available so these four ones are marked here remaining terms are zero now we need to group this cell in order to get the simplified expression so there are three groupings are there these two ones are grouped together these two ones are grouped together these two ones are grouped together so while adding while grouping these two we have to refer the corresponding row here a is available so a means sorry one is available one means a corresponding column second column and third column 0 1 1 1 right so this 0 and 1 is got cancelled only this second one is available second one is c in right so here a c in a into c in right for grouping of these two cells green color so you can see this corresponding here we have a here we have c in while grouping these two these two so again we have to refer the corresponding uh, row a is available what is available in the column third and fourth column 1 1 1 0 so this this one and zero is got cancelled second second term one and zero got cancelled only the first term is one here also one here also one first term is b so that a into b right so while combining these two what we got a into b now we have to combine these two we have to refer the corresponding row Corres these two rows we need to consider so here zero here one is available both got cancelled we have to refer this column corresponding column third column 1 1 is there 1 1 means b c n b into c n right so this is due to this green color cell this is due to red color cell this is again due to green color cell so finally what we got a b plus a c n plus b c n this is the expression for c out similarly for sum there are four ones are available three inputs a b c n a is available vertically, B, C in available horizontally with the four combination. So there is no possibility of grouping this cell. All are available individually, right? So while referring this one, we have to refer the corresponding first row and second column. This is 0, 0, 1. What is 0, 0, 1? A bar, B bar, C in. A bar is refer 0, B bar refer 0, C in means 1, right? So A bar, B bar, C in, right? 0 means we have to put A bar. Here again one more zero means B bar, right? While referring this, what we have zero, one zero. The zero means A bar, one means B, again zero means C in bar. While referring this, we have one zero zero. One means A, zero zero means B bar, C in bar. While referring this, we have e, one, one, one. So all are one, 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 one. So A, B, C in, right? So by referring these four ones we got this expression a bar b bar c in plus a bar b c in bar plus a b bar c in bar plus a b c in right now we can go for further simplification of this expression there are lot of terms available here we can go for further simplification so that it will be easy for implementing the logic circuit right so now the now this expression is given so in this c in is taken outside from the first term and fourth term from first term and fourth term c in is available that is taken outside so then the first term what we have a bar b bar fourth term we have a b so that a bar b bar plus a b from second and third term c in is c in bar is taken outside right c in bar available in third and second and third term while taking outside what is available in the second term a bar b third term a b bar a bar b plus a b bar 
right what is a bar b bar plus a b exclusive nor gate x a x nor of b similarly a bar b plus a b bar is nothing but exclusive or gate a x or b right so we got this simplified expression this a x nor gate can be again converted into x or gate by taking the complement if you take the complement this x nor gate is converted into x or gate now we'll see this expression so this a x nor gate now converted into a x a x or gate by taking complement right now we see this expression what is available here take this is a consider this is b this is a this is b what is available here a b bar plus a bar b see this a bar b plus a b bar this is nothing but again the x x or gate right a b bar plus a bar b so that can be written as a x or gate c in x or of a x or b there is nothing but by, by using the x or gate with the three inputs c in a and b we can get the expression for sum right x the sum is nothing but by using x or gate with the three inputs a b and c n we got the expression right now we got the simplified expression of sum as well as c out is already available first we will see how to implement with the normal normal gates then we will go to the two half orders right so the sum is nothing but xr gate with the three inputs a b c in a b c in is given to xr gate so that we got the sum right so that is available here see this sum equal to xr gate with the three inputs now we'll go to the carry out c out c out is nothing but a b plus a c in plus b c in so for this for these three term we need three and gates while adding for adding these three term we need one or gate so this three and gate and one or gate is available right first one is a b a and b is given as a input so that we got a b the second is a in a and c in is given as a input we got a into c n c n and b is given to third and gate we got b into c n now these three are added by the or gate so we got the expression for the carry so by using x or gate we got the sum output by using this three AND gate and one OR gate, we got the output of carry. Right. Now, we will see how to implement this expression with the two half orders. By using two half orders, this is the normal implementation. Now, we need to see with the two half orders. Right. Again, this C out expression is simplified. Right. We already simplified the sum expression using XOR gate. Now we go go with the C out. C out also again simplified. A B plus A C in plus B C in is the expression what we got from the K map. So that is equal to A B plus A C in B plus B bar is added. So B plus B bar is one, right? So it is multiplied B plus B bar. B plus B bar value is one. So it is not. It will not affect the original value. Similarly, B C in plus A A plus A bar. A plus A bar value also one. So, if the original value will not affect it. So, we are multiplying B plus B bar in the second term, A plus A bar in the first term. Now, we can go for multiplication. A B plus A C in B, A C in B bar. This multiplied inside. So, A C in B plus A C in B bar. Similarly here, B C in into A, B C in into A bar. B C in into A, B C in into A bar. Right. Now, all are multiplied. Now, three terms now converted into five terms. Now, take AB outside. The AB available is uh, taken outside. Here, the AB is available. This is one. Here, AB C in is available. So, the C in. Right. Here, AB C in is available. So, that is also taken outside. Right. AB, AB C in. Here, AB C in. In the three terms, AB is commonly taken. So, that one plus C in plus C in. The remaining terms a b bar c in plus a bar b c in right so with the uh, with one if you add any term again it will be one only one plus a or one plus b whatever may be the if you with one if you add any other term it will result in the one only because it may be zero or one whatever may be the output will be one so that it is a b right so one plus any term is nothing but one only based on the boolean algebra 
So from this term, the C in is available commonly. So the C in is taken outside. So while taking C in outside, what do we have? What we have? A B bar plus A bar B. A B bar plus A bar B. What is A B bar in plus A bar B? That is nothing but XR gate. A XR B. This is XR gate, right? So finally, we got the simplified expression. A B plus C in XR of A and B, right? So we got the simplified expression. We already got the simplified expression for sum. Now we can go how to implement this with the two half orders, right? So this is the first half order. This is the second half order. Half order video available in separate video is available. The link is available in the description box. So so this is the half order having one XR gate and AND gate. XR gate input is A B. So A XR XR B is available. The AND gate is input is nothing but B into C in A into B. A into B is the output of carry, right? So half order having two outputs sum and carry. Sum is nothing but XR of A and B. The carry is nothing but A into B by using the AND gate. Right now we have the using the first half order we got this output a x r b a b. Now we need to go with one more half order is available here. This is one more half order, right? For that we need to generate the expression for full order, right? What is the expression for full order c in x r a x r b? So this is the expression we got in a simplified manner, right? So we need to get this value. So A XRB is already available here. So that is given as one of the input. C in, we need C in. So the C in is available. A, B, C in. A, B means only half order, we have only two inputs. Full order, we have one more input, C in. Now the C in also given. A XRB is already available. This is C in. So by using these three, we got the expression for sum. A, A C in, XR, A, XR, B. Right? It is clear, it is available. Now we need to implement this C out. A, B plus C in A, X, R, B. This, this term we need to implement. The C in is available here. A, B is available here. A exclusive R is available here. All are available. Right? This A into B first term available in the first half order. C in is available one of the input. A XR B is also available as a output of the first half order, right? So by using this, we can easily implement, right? So to add these two terms, we have one XR gate. One XR gate is one uh, one R gate is available to add these two, right? So what is the input to this? One is AB. So what is the available output from the first half order is given to the R gate AB, right? What is the next input C in into A X R B. So here I need one AND gate. So that is already available in the full second half order. What is the input to this C in? The C in is given. Another input is A X R B. That is also available here. Is given. Right. So C in A X R B. So these two are multiplied. Here these two are X R. You perform the X R gate. But here these two are multiplied. C in a x r b right so that is given to the another input of the r gate so these two terms will be added together a b plus c in a x r b right so these two are added so we got the output of c out of a full order sum of the full order right so i'll explain again this is the half order having two inputs the by using x r gate sum is generated a x r b by using r gate the uh, carry is generated a b for a full order we have one more input c in so this is the second half order the second half order this one input is a x r b another input is c in so that we got the expression for sum for a carry there are two terms available added together so that we are using one r gate the first term is a b that is available in the first half order that is given the second term is c in a XRB. A XRB is available here. That is given to the AND gate. And C in also given as a input. So C in A XRB is a output is available. These two are again added together 
we got the output of C out. So, this is sum and C out is a output of the full adder. So, we are using two half adder in order to get the output of full adder. So, in this video, we discuss about the full adder, what is the truth table, what is the simplified what, uh, expression using K map and further simplification. We got the further simplification of sum and carry. So, that is implemented with the normal XOR gate and AND gate. Then finally, we implemented with the two half orders, right? Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.